This is Joel Phillips with ProShark again, founder of ProShark, a software development company and digital marketing agency, as well as director of technology at Strategic Advisor Board, strategicadvisorboard.com. I am back for episode number three of Tech Tip. Um, Tech Tip is a program that we're launching um, to answer questions that people have about digital space and what's currently going on in the market, what the trends are, how they can better influence uh, people around them in the digital space and what they can do to improve their footprint. Currently, or as of yesterday, we were talking about website optimization versus getting a new site. What can you do to improve your rankings on your existing site? And we're going to take a look. We'll finish off the optimization piece today. We were looking at yesterday a site that we had optimized and we saw the scores were coming in in the 20s. Uh, that's pretty normal for any CMS site. Uh, you've got Shopify. The The biggest ones we deal with are Shopify, WordPress. We do Duda as well. Uh, we do Bootstrap, which are just open themes using a Bootstrap framework. And if you have questions on any, any of those, we encourage you to send your questions in to techtip at proshark.com. We will get them answered. If we don't know the answer, we'll find out the answer for you. So uh, let's continue with where we were yesterday. We were looking at a site that we had optimized, chelseaking.shop, and where it was coming in on the, on the score for performance. Again, most... Most websites will come in in the 20 range for overall performance. The metrics you need to be wary of, Core Web Vitals. If you don't pass Core Web Vitals, you are going to be penalized in Google, uh, Google ranking. These include, and you can simply go to pagespeed.web.dev, which is Google's algorithmic uh, assessment of your site. And you can see where your site ranks in here on mobile and or on desktop. So if we look at desktop for the site, it's a 96. Once we were done optimizing, mobile is 81. Anything above about 65 is acceptable and will typically have the assessment passed moniker here. And that's just an estimation. Every site's different. Different components of the site will impact the score. But what you want to get from an overall assessment perspective is you want to be green on all of these factors right here. Uh, and then performance, we were discussing that anybody on mobile, they'll give you attention span for about three seconds. Once you hit three seconds, if you're not loading up your site, within that three second time frame, then there's a good chance that they may abandon your site and not look into it any further. So you wanna be at 2.2 first content full paint, anything under three seconds is good. And you want to be interactive as quickly as possible. What interactive means is that's the first moment or first second where they can actually do something on your site from scroll to click on a button, et cetera. So the question becomes, do I optimize or do I get a new site? And, and it's a difficult question. Um, I mean, obviously a new site's an investment. So the thing that we'll take a look at, well, and first I want to finish off by going through any last items on uh, Core Web Vitals. This about year, year and a half ago is when it became apparent. And it's where, when Google adjusted their algorithms to take Core Web Vitals into um, consideration when ranking your site. We can't stress this enough. It, it's something that you need to do, whether you do adjust your existing site or whether you get a new site, uh, either one, this has to be taken into consideration when you're doing that. It's, it's super important that you compete in the digital arena, especially nowadays when there's so much noise out there and when there's so many sites competing for the consumer. Um, and we'll go into community versus advertising and, and things like that a little bit later. We've got another question surrounding that, but 
I wanted to address the core web vitals and page speed and how that impacts your, your footprint. So the question becomes, do I optimize or do I get a new site? And it's not a simple question. It's not one that you can say, oh yeah, great. Let's just fix up this site and it'll fix all of our problems because it's not necessarily the case. A lot of things to take into consideration when it comes to websites. And one is performance. Two is ease of use. Three is content and design. A lot of people don't like to read, but you have to have the content to generate SEO ranking from a keyword perspective. But four, and this has become so important lately and is probably the next topic that we'll dive into starting tomorrow, but customer journey. Customer journey is the path that a consumer takes when they hit your website. The attention span of the consumer, because of all the noise in the space, the attention span of the consumer has gone down drastically. First, when they hit your site, there has to be clear and concise messaging saying, here's who we are, here's what we offer, and here's what you can do with this website. And remember that we had already discussed that websites are more than just a business card anymore. It used to be, okay, got a website, great. Don't have a website, no big deal. They're going to come visit us in the showroom. Online is the new showroom. It's your new office. So the things that they can do on your website will increase interaction with your company physically. So 98%, last I checked, I think that was that, that's an approximate number, but it's about right. 98% of people start their purchasing decisions online nowadays whether it be mobile, whether it be desktop, whether it be tablet, they all start their their purchasing decisions online. And what that means is you have to present, if you want to attract those customers, you have to present a customer journey that leads them from the front page to the purchase or from the front, front page to a phone call. That customer journey is so critical. And that's got to be one of the primary decisions when you're looking at either creating a new site or improving your existing site. So we'll take a look tomorrow. I think we've already gone way over again. We're trying to keep these in between three and five minutes, but we'll take a look tomorrow at customer journey and the, the impact that it'll have on your decision to improve a site or to purchase a new site. Thank you. Bye.